Hey guys, it's Phoebe, and today I am going to solve a very important problem. What is this problem, you may ask? Well, this problem is that my drinking bird is all alone on this shelf with no other birds to keep him company. His only company is this cat clock, who, let's be honest, it looks like it's going to eat him. So today we are going to remedy that problem, and we're going to search the internet to find some friends for my drinking bird. But we're not just going to get a bunch of the same drinking birds, because that would be boring. What's the fun in that? So I've scoured the internet for the strangest, the most interesting, the cheapest, the jankiest drinking birds on the market. And today we're going to buy them, review them, and introduce them to my poor lonely drinking bird and make a flock of the best drinking birds ever. And may I just say, this is a legitimate practice banjo expense. I am not frivolously spending my money on toys. I would never do that. This is so that I can sit and practice the banjo and um, stay focused by watching my flock of drinking birds drink away. And they'll also remind me to drink water. Without further ado, let's go shopping and find some friends. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start out with a classic. This is a little drinking bird that clips onto the side of the cup. I think he is adorable. We're getting him from AliExpress for $3 plus $4 shipping. Wait, maybe I should buy something else to make the shipping worth it. I think that makes sense. I think I should spend more money to save money. I think I'm being very responsible today. Okay, I'm getting the bird, and then I also found a beautiful poster for my wall and a beautiful keychain. And they're both of Squidward, because I love Squidward. Okay, I love Squidward. Anyway, I'm now going to buy these. The drinking bird wa is $3. Now, next up is a dinosaur-shaped drinking bird, which I think is fascinating. I would never have considered... I mean, look at this thing. Who thought of this? It's beautiful. I need it. Okay, it's $12 from Amazon. We will see how the quality shapes up between the like $3 suspicious ones from the suspicious websites, which I hope didn't scam me, and the $12 one from Amazon. But we're going to order this one. All right, next up we have a beautiful strange little guy from Timu. This is what he looks like. Normal drinking birds look like this. He looks like this. Instead of a hat, he has like a little a little dollop of hair or something. He's just so bizarrely like wrong but beautiful. So I had to get him. He's allegedly normally $22, but $8 discount. I don't know if it's a fake discount or what, but we're getting that. We're also getting this hat because I need this hat. It's also a channel expense, okay? It's for it's for it's for videos. I'm being responsible. Don't worry, don't worry. Last but not least, we're getting this very strange drinking lucky bird duck dipping einstein toy it doesn't even look like a duck or a bird i'm not even sure if it's the same thing there's like there's this which does not clear up any of my questions about it but it's from wish.com it's three dollars i'm also getting this shirt because i've wanted this shirt for years do you notice anything wrong it's the wizard of oz right look closely at the tin man is that the tin man is that a certain droid from a certain sci-fi franchise? I need this shirt. I've wanted this forever. We're also getting a turkey hat. Don't ask questions. All right, and that is our haul. So I'll check back in when those all arrive, and we will do a test, and then we will introduce them to my poor, lonely, normal drinking bird. But first, science. While we wait for those to arrive, let's briefly go over what a drinking bird is and kind of how it works. It was patented by Arthur M. Hillary in 1945, and it's gone by several different names, including Insatiable Birdie, Dunking Bird, Tipsy Chicken, and a whole lot more. It's pretty delightful. They work using a fancy thermodynamic principle, which I don't fully understand, but let me try to explain what I know of it. The liquid in the glass tube inside of them has a very low boiling point. When the bird's head is dipped in water, the fuzz absorbs that water and then the evaporation makes the top cooler than the bottom. And something about that makes the liquid go up. So as the liquid rises from the bulb in the bottom to the bulb in the top, the bird starts tipping over till all the liquid is up in the head and it tips down into the cup. And then there's a little straw that releases the liquid when it tips down and then it rocks back and starts over. The liquid in the tube is not necessarily a safe liquid for children or humans, and also the tube is vacuum sealed to get it to work. 
So there's a couple other models out there that try to make it safer. There's also supposedly one that uses capillary action, which I did not look up what that is because I'm tired. <laughs> it's something to do with absorption and siphoning, but I'm pretty sure the one that I bought off Wish.com is something like that. So maybe we'll learn what that is. Maybe we won't. Okay, that concludes science time with Phoebe. I don't know if we learned anything, but there's a brief history of drinking birds. Somewhat how they work. Delightful little novelty science toy from the 40s. So, now that the science is out of the way, let us go and unbox the birds. Caw, 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 caw. They have arrived. All four birds are here. They surprisingly all made it in one piece, which, I mean, I'm thrilled about. Kind of surprised, considering this is the condition of one of the boxes. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer here so we can all experience these birds. Don't fall. First up, little baby bird. This guy is so cute looking. Oh my goodness. Here's the classic bird. Let's get this guy out and see how tiny he is in comparison. The bird itself seems to be in good shape. Um, Oh, sorry, bud, there's no water. It comes with a glass for you to clip them onto, and the glass itself broke. So I'm hoping that the glass is not necessary for this bird's drinking abilities, because it is not a usable glass. Oh, he's so little! Look at the difference. Oh, mwah! He's fortunately all in one piece, which is great, because if this little tube breaks, it's all over for these guys, because they're vacuum sealed. Um... Do we need instructions? Pfft, nah. Actually, we might. How does... We might need instructions. Yeah, what a, what a great cup. Comes in two pieces. I, wait, is... Is it supposed to be like that? No, it is most definitely not supposed to be like this. This is sheared off plastic. The bane of our existence. I think I just need to find a cup that's round like this for him to clip onto. Let me go search for a cup. Okay, I think this one works. Looks pretty sturdy. Right, you can move out of the way, buddy. Stealing the show. Just like he always does. So I believe we just kinda slot this guy in here like so. Alrighty. Is that gonna work? One way to find out. I have also prepared a delicious pitcher of tap water for my avian friends to partake in. Drink hearty, little man. Alright, he's so small. I too shall have a drink whilst we wait. Also, while we wait for him, can I just say this shirt is all I dreamed it would be? The hat is pretty cool too. It spins. I kind of want to try motorizing it. Oh! He works. Oh, he goes fast. Look at him go. Wait, let's compare the drink time between... Oh, they can share. How sweet is that? Oh, they're friends. He's so little, so I think he drinks faster. He's kind of like a hummingbird. 10 out of 10. I love the tiny bird. Approved by Phoebe. That was from AliExpress, I believe. I think it was just $3. Best $3 you could spend. Alright, let's move these guys out of the way and get to the next bird. I'm so excited for this one. Look at this awesome box. It's prehistorically awesome. Drinking T-Rex. I'm interested that a, like a drastically different sized head can do the same thing, because all the other models have those little beaks and stuff, and this has a massive dino head. We got the dino feetsies. Here's the dino himself. <laughs> Look how cute. It's just his little nose sticking out. I'm so paranoid that I'm gonna break this. Oh, how about that? A drinking bird shaped piece of foam. Kind of fun. Here he is, in all his glory. I'm tired. Here he is, in all his glory. The camera won't focus because it's overwhelmed by his beauty. But let's see how well he works. I assume we just kind of slot him in. Now let us find the proper cup for our little friend to drink from. 
I'm not sure what height he will like the best. Perhaps a goblet? Oh, it matches him. I think that will work. Let us fill it again with the finest crystal clear tap water that Southern California's pipes can deliver. I think in general it's better to use distilled water for these guys so they don't get calcium buildups on their uh, heads. But we don't have distilled water because we used it all in our coffee machine. All right. You gonna work there, buddy? I think I'm gonna dunk his whole head just to get the process going. Because the evaporation needs to be on this bulb, and since his head is so big, I feel like it doesn't reach back to the bulb fast enough, unlike the beaks. Look at them back there being best friends. hey -o. He works. Solid. Look at him. I feel like he looks old and wise. Awesome. Okay, not much to say about this guy. He works. Is he slightly twisted? Here. Let's rotate him a little bit. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Did I throw the balance off? No! What have I done? Fun fact, if you hold the bottom of them, they'll, the liquid will rise way faster. No! I'll move the weight beat back further. Okay, my one beef with him is that he doesn't rock as smoothly as the other ones. He kind of gets stuck, and he still does rock. Check it out. He, like, goes down. He's just, he's just slower in general, but I think that's okay. I give him a 9 out of 10. All right, we're going to put him back there with these guys. We'll line them all up at the end. Time for the Timu bird, who does not have a hat on. Unlike me and those two stylish guys. Imagine not having a hat on. Tragic. Oh, have I mentioned how paranoid I am about breaking these guys? Here he is. Okay, he is cute. Look at his little face. He has googly eyes. This little thing. You know, he can pull off not wearing a hat, I think. I think if anyone can pull it off, it's this little dude. Did he come with feet? That is the question. He did come with feet. Okay, are the feet broken? That is the next question. This box is so banged up. I don't know why I opened it like that. All right. Let's see what cup he would like. How about the Archie cup? Would you drink out of the Archie cup? I think you would. Let us fill it with the finest crystal clear tap water, as is tradition. Ooh, look at him go. He's excited. Okay, uh, okay, calm down. I'm gonna dunk his whole head again just because I'm impatient. Hey, oh. I think he works pretty perfectly. I give this guy a 10 out of 10. The only one with the 9 out of 10 is the dino because he's kind of slow. But honestly, I'm raising that to a 10 out of 10. These are all 10 out of 10 birds. I feel like the slowness is kind of fitting for a dinosaur. Oh, you are thirsty. Goodness. How fast is he going? Someone slow this guy down. Whoa. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why he's going so fast. He's had a little bit too much to drink. Though, like, the neck tube refills right away. See how the, the green tube... The liquid goes down, and then it's immediately refilled. With this other guy, here watch. His tube is green, because the water's just about at the top. He bends down to drink, and then that liquid goes all the way down, and it comes back up to about halfway, and it has to start refilling. Whereas this guy, he bends down to drink, and that liquid shoots right back up. All right, we have most of our flock. Now let us look at the strangest one that I'm the most interested in seeing how the heck it works. The Wish.com Drinking Einstein Toy Duck Diving Lucky Bird. It comes in a little bag. I think I'm going to have to assemble it. We'll see how I do. I do have my thinking hat on, so what could go wrong? Spin this for luck. I do really like this hat. Oh good. The instructions are not in English. 
Does anybody read this language? Can you tell me what it says? Please help. Um, so we have this, cotton, this, this, and these, and this. So, uh, let's do a time lapse of how long does it take Phoebe to figure out how this works. Look at this bird. So from what I can tell, I, I don't know. I, this, this looks like the way it was set up. This looks nasty. There's a cotton thing coming out of here that I think goes in the water, and then it's running down here, and then there's this tray to catch water. I don't know how it's supposed to, like, dip. It definitely doesn't work as fast as the other ones, if at all. Okay, now he's very slowly peeing into this tray. Honestly, kind of weirded out by this little guy. I don't like the way this watery cotton looks. And he's like absorbing it, just kind of peeing it out. Is that all the action it does? When does it move? I don't know. Yeah, so I let it sit overnight, and I mean, I filled the cup all the way up, and it siphoned all of the water down into this tray, which was empty, and now it's full of water. And so I dumped the tray back into the cup, and it siphoned the water out again. So I, I guess it, yeah, it does that. It doesn't really move though. I don't know what all this is for. I don't know why it's not just like a cotton thing. Also this cotton is really grossing me out because it's so wet. It's a mess and it's very cheap. This feels like something, a, like a plate of fries would come in. It's very cheap plastic. Plus there's no way to prevent this from molding. Like with the water just sitting in this cotton, this is gonna mold so fast. So I think I'm going to toss this. I give it a one out of 10. It gets a one simply because it, did arrive and it vaguely looks like what was advertised so i guess that's that's a one out of ten if anyone knows what this is supposed to do maybe i just set it up wrong put it in the comments because i i am so confused by this so let's go set up my other birds i think they're gonna look great on the shelf all together <laughs> Have it. We've expanded the flock of birds, and I think they all look very happy together. I am very pleased with all of them. This was this was so much fun. I now have a bunch of drinking birds. If you guys have name ideas for the birds, leave them in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you thought about this video. I had so much fun making it. I will probably be making more of these. Unless you guys absolutely hated them, I will probably be making more of these because I really like strange things. As you can tell. I'm thinking about buying some 1940s shoes that have springs on the bottom that look terrifying, but also I really, really want them. So please comment that you want to see that video so I can justify that expense. Anyway, if you liked it, um, leave me a like because that would help me out a lot. And yeah, stay tuned for more banjo content and maybe more bizarre bird <laughs> content. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye -bye.